Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are trying more makeup packs. You guys seem to really like my testing TikTok makeup packs video. So today we're gonna test more makeup packs, this time from celebrities and celebrity makeup artists. I hope you guys like it, and I apologize if I have lipstick on my teeth. I can't really see my teeth, but I always tend to get lipstick on them. Now let's go try some hacks. So this first hack apparently comes from Nikki Metz. She's the director of artistry at Jouer. And she says if you have oily skin and you don't have your primer handy, you can use cornstarch instead of primer. Now, I searched high and low in Australia for cornstarch. And for the life of me, could not find it. Then I found this article. So apparently corn flour is cornstarch in Australia. Apparently they're different in America, but corn flour is cornstarch here according to the internet. So this is my Coles brand corn flour and we're gonna see if it works as primer. I'm very nervous. Step one, get some corn flour and I guess we just put it on our face. Maybe I should use a brush for this. How do I? <coughs> that should be enough, right? So let's just swirl this around. Hello, in today's video I'm going to show you how to look like Pablo Escobar. <coughs> it really does get up your nose when you breathe. Well that has definitely mattified my skin and made it look kind of horrible, but maybe it'll look better when we apply some foundation. For foundation I'm just going to use my usual Urban Decay All Nighter foundation because I know it works on my skin. And we just want to blend it on. My skin does feel very like smooth with the corn flour on my face, but it also feels very dry. Oh my god, I don't think my foundation has ever applied so badly in my life. She's the director of artistry for Jouer, there's no way someone should recommend this. I did just get these hacks off the internet, I don't have like a direct line to Nikki where she told me this hack, so for all I know these articles could be lying. I kind of hope so. Let's zoom you guys in and you can see how terrible my foundation looks right now. Can you see how patchy and uneven that is? Why would anyone do this to themselves? So that hack is a massive fail. Don't use corn flour instead of primer unless you want to look like a hot mess. I'm going to take this off and move on to our next hack. Foundation is on and looking well applied this time. Now this next hack comes from makeup artist Hannah Hatcher and she says that you can mix loose powder into your foundation to create concealer. So I got my foundation. This time we're going to use the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and I got my little ramekin dish. And I'm just going to put a few pumps into the dish. Take some loose powder. I'm going with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Translucent Powder. I think if I use a white powder, it'll help lighten up the foundation a bit because you know, I like that highlighted under eye look. Mix in a bit of the powder. Just give it a quick stir. It's getting kind of chunky. All mixed, let's apply this under our eyes. Oop, don't apply it in your eyes, guys. Well, it didn't really lighten up the foundation, so I guess we're not having a highlighted face today. We're just going to blend that out. Oh my god. This is looking mega cakey. No, I do not like that at all. I wouldn't even tell you to use this as a last resort. I would prefer to just go in with the foundation under my eyes. It's looking mega dry, mega cakey. I do not recommend it. Now, let me just go take this off and apply my foundation for the third time in 10 minutes. And I'm back with basically a full face of makeup. So this next hack is from Margot Robbie. Love me some Margot Robbie. And she says to use a toothbrush or a spoolie to comb foundation into your baby hair, hairline area, to make it look more natural. So I have a little disposable spoolie right here. Honestly, I don't really have like an issue with my foundation not blending into my hairline. Maybe it's because I've got like ashy toned hair. I don't know. But I'm just gonna like try and brush it. This little section here is normally where things get a little weird. Okay, yeah, I think that definitely worked, but I will say I do have psoriasis like all through my scalp and like this is starting to stir up my psoriasis a little bit. But if you don't have psoriasis, lucky you, I think this hack would genuinely work for you. This next hack is by James Vincent, who is a celebrity makeup artist, and he basically says to take a gold pigment and brush it through your eyebrows and eyelashes to make them look longer. I don't know if this is going to work. A bit worried I'm going to ruin my makeup. But I've got my gold pigment. This is Goldilux by Sugar Pill. I'm just gonna dip that spoolie in, tap off the excess. I'm getting nervous, guys. Now, I did say to do this after you've applied mascara, so I've applied mascara, got my false lashes on, and now we just brush through the gold pigment. Well, my eyelashes look very glittery, but I don't think they look longer. Let's try the eyebrows. Just flick off that excess. 
Uh, I don't think my eyebrows or eyelashes look longer or fuller. It, they just look sparkly now. So that one's a fail from me. Moving on. I guess I should add some gold to the other eye to make it look even. The next hack is from Sir John. I believe this is Beyonce's makeup artist. And he says to use an eye cream as lip primer. Apparently it absorbs faster and helps smooth out any lines. Now I am the perfect candidate for this because my lips are always mega dry. I need to drink more water. I know. But hey, it means I can gauge if this hack actually works or not. So the eye cream I'm currently using is by Cremorlab. It is very hydrating. I don't normally wear this one when I'm wearing makeup, but I thought it'd be a good one to try as a lip primer. I'm worried this is gonna taste disgusting. Here we go. Oh, it feels really nice on my lips. Yep, tastes, tastes very bad. Tastes like I've just licked a bar of soap or something. My lips definitely feel more hydrated, but my mouth now feels like I tried to rinse it with hand soap. But let's see if lip products actually apply better with this. So we are going to incorporate the next hack. This next hack is by Taylor Swift and it's how to apply a long lasting red lipstick. I need to grab a red lipstick, hold on. Okay, step one, apply a red lipstick. I'm just gonna use Colourpop. Whilst we're here, what did you guys think of that Taylor Swift documentary on Netflix? Personally, I've always been a huge Taylor Swift fan, but watching that documentary entry just made me feel so much more like admiration for her. I really liked it. I would recommend watching it. I do think a lot of YouTubers go through the same issues Taylor Swift has gone through with authenticity, I guess. We all had to be this G-rated version of ourselves to be like brand friendly. That's changing now, thank the Lord. But yeah, love me some Taylor Swift. Okay, it's not the best red lip in the world, but it'll do. Oh my god guys, that eye cream hack, I am so shocked. My lips were so dry and flaky and cracked, but this eye cream just sort of smoothed everything out. And this red lip, besides my wonky lines, actually looks really good. So if you can get past the soap taste in your mouth, eye cream actually makes amazing lip primer. Oh, I need a tissue. So next T-Swift says to blot it with a tissue. How much do I blot it though? <laughs> getting red lipstick a bit everywhere, but oh well. The next step is to take a tissue and some powder and a brush. Put the tissue over your lips and then press the powder into your lips. I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> I don't think the powder's getting through. Oh, it got through, okay. <laughs> and then to reapply. It does actually feel less slippy on my lips, so I guess we just wait and see how it wears over time. So whilst we're waiting, let's try some more hacks. This next hack comes from Emma Watson and she says to use a cotton tip with foundation on it to fix mascara smudges. Let me just go film my intro and outro real quick just in case this ruins my makeup. Okay, I am ready to purposely smudge mascara on my face. This is a really hard mascara to remove as well, guys. We're not cutting any corners with this one. Oh yes, I'm just applying mascara to my lower eyelashes. Oops. Oh no, I have got mascara on my lower lash line. Let's see if Emma Watson can fix this. Okay, mm, step one, get a cotton tip. Why am I so underprepared? <laughs> Got my cotton tip. She says to use foundation, but I feel like it makes more sense to use concealer if it's under your eye. But I guess we'll do things her way and use foundation. So we just want to put a little bit on a cotton tip and then just... Oh my god, guys, what? The mascara is gone. <laughs> I thought we were just gonna end up with like a mascara-y, foundation-y mess on my face, but it's actually gone. I am just gonna try and grab my beauty blender real quick to like blend out those lines a bit. Did that make it better or worse? Kind of think it made it worse. Great one, cat. Maybe if I just like give it a minute to dry. She didn't say what the next step was. So despite what Emma Watson says, my hack for getting rid of mascara smudges is to wait for the mascara to completely dry and then just take like a pencil brush like this. Run it over the mascara a few times and if you have waited until it's completely dry, it should just flake off and your makeup will be fine. This doesn't look too bad, but there is that definite line where I've just applied more product to my eye. Okay, putting some powder over the top has really helped reduce that line. So I will say that hack did work, but I think my hack works better. Oh, also, a quick little update, this lipstick, it is lasting really well and like I've only had like one little spot on my tooth. Normally I get lipstick all over my teeth by now. Taylor Swift might be onto something, guys. Where's my hairspray? So this hack is by Jessica Scantlin, who is a celebrity makeup artist, and she says you can use hairspray as a body illuminator. This is almost empty, but I think it has enough in it for us to spray our body. So you wanna use a hairspray that isn't particularly sticky, because otherwise you'll be sticky. <laughs> but let's give it a go. 
yeah that definitely worked guys I like that it's a very nice natural looking illumination my arm does feel a bit stiff now though and also I just want to add in a little traumatizing story time so back in my youth before the days of makeup setting sprays we used to set our makeup with hairspray which is also very bad for your skin I definitely do not recommend it anymore but I remember seeing one day in the newspaper that a girl's face caught fire because she got too close to a flame and had set her makeup with hairspray and ever since I read that I do not set my face with hairspray so because of that I will not be using hairspray as a body illuminator but for entertainment purposes it does work Okay, so before I finish the video, quick update, that Taylor Swift red lip hack has definitely worked. It is a lot more effort than what I'm willing to put into when doing my makeup, but maybe if you want to wear a bright lip to work and don't have time to reapply it throughout the day, or you've got like a dance recital or something, yep, that's how I dance, guys. But maybe you have a dance recital where you're wearing a bright lip and you need it to last this works. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I probably wouldn't put in that much effort. So those are all the hacks that I have to try in this video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please remember to give this video a massive thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell if you would like to see more videos from me. I hope you're all having an amazing day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys!